In honor of Women's History Month, FBI Jacksonville is recognizing women who serve and protect. FBI Special Agent in Charge Sherry Onks is joining us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good Appreciate morning. it. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So what drew you to the FBI? So I grew up in East Tennessee in a small town. Uh, and while I was a sophomore in college, uh, my professor brought her husband, who was an FBI agent, uh, to my class um, as a sophomore. And after he came and did a recruiting speech and talked about what a great team the FBI was, I was hooked. So I told <laughs> wow. my professor at that time that I was ready to join the FBI, and that's what I strive for from that day forward. So for those who are watching, you know, young women and they're just not quite sure about it, what advice do you have for them? that the FBI is a great place to work. There is a uh, opportunities for work-life balance. You can have a family, you can have a career. Uh, and for this small town girl, it has been an adventure of a lifetime. Is it anything like the movies? Uh, sometimes, <laughs> right. sometimes it absolutely is. So the first female FBI special agent graduated from the FBI Academy in 1972, as you know. Her name is Susan Malone. She's actually going to be here in Jacksonville later this month. Can you share a little bit what it might have been like in terms of the difference between when she came on in the early 70s and your experience that you had? So a true trailblazer. Hmm. So before uh, last year, the FBI celebrated 50 years uh, women serving in the FBI. So in 1972, before that, no women were allowed to become FBI agents in the FBI. So Susan Rowley Malone came in in 1972. She was a Marine. Uh, hmm. Two women went through the class at that time. One was a nun and one was a Marine. Wow. And so I stand on her shoulders. So uh, she, uh, she, she made it uh, uh, able uh, for us to come in afterwards. So the women that followed, she did the hard work for us. <laughs> and she's going to be in, as I mentioned, later this month. There, how could the public meet her? You know, maybe there are some young women who are so inspired by her, they want to learn more about joining the FBI. So later this month, we're holding a diversity agent recruitment event on March 23rd from 4 to 7 p.m. So we encourage you, if you want to learn more about the FBI, again, a great career to apply through fbijobs.gov um, by March 17th. Um, and once you apply and if you qualify, we'll get back to you with all the information. Miss Rowley will be there um, and it will be super, super exciting. Uh, I've heard her story last year at the 50 year anniversary and you won't be disappointed. Most rewarding experience for you being in the FBI. So I would say the most rewarding experience has been um, what it feels like to help people when they've been victimized, whether they've lost all their money, um, they've been um, victimized uh, through drugs or gangs or stopping a terrorist event. It makes you feel pretty good at night when you're able to make a difference and that's, that's what a career with the FBI means. Sherry, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. I'm sure you've motivated some of our viewers to certainly, at the very least, learn more. And for our viewers at home, so the event is, I want to remind you, it's Thursday, March 23rd. It's from 4 to 7, as Sherry mentioned. You do need to register by March 17th by visiting fbijobs.gov.